Good morning, my friends. It is Thursday, January 11th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I have found another copy of a gospel book. This is before 823. This is Luke, a very depiction, different depiction of Luke being inspired to write his gospel. Luke's symbol is an ox or a boar, and you can see that that ox is coming towards him with wings, carrying a scroll on the upper right side, and he's looking upwards. Luke was a um, Gentile, Greek. So we think he would have had shorter hair and looked more presentable, which he does. And as you can see, his feet are on a book as well. He's holding a book and he's sitting also on a beast of some kind. His inspiration is coming from below and above him. And it seems like a kind of a swirling storm around him of dark clouds and motion as he gets inspired to write his gospel. Today we touch upon Isaiah again in these beautiful verses that you may have heard before. God says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, and my ways are not your ways. For as the sky is higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. It's good to keep in mind that there are many things we can't understand. Sometimes we can't understand one another, for sure. Sometimes we can't even understand ourselves. But most of all, we fundamentally can't understand God, that we are supposed to try and to search for knowledge and to learn and grow. But the idea of capturing the knowledge of God, of, of fully understanding the divine is preposterous. And any time we feel that we understand God or can wrap our minds around God, we've created an idol it's a really good way of remembering. You know, we used to have these pictures of the old man in the sky. That was an idol. Every time we think we understand God and want to dictate to other people what that concept looks like, we're getting into dangerous waters. So remember, God is so much greater than our little brains could ever comprehend. We should try to understand, and we will grow in our understanding. We will catch glimpses, but we can never capture knowledge of God. Now, the only way to know God is through the heart. Love. We can love God, but we can't understand God, or know God, or possess knowledge of God. In that awe, in that sense of wonder and a sense of being smaller, not bad, but the word humble is like humus, which means earth. We're part of the created order. We were made by God and we can't fathom our maker, not fully. We can love our maker, we can't know. For my ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts, says the Lord. Let it go. There is never going to be a time where you fully get it. <laughs> That's why I love the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It makes no sense. Not supposed to make any sense. It's supposed to remind us that we can't fathom God. Because three and one and one and three is just confounding. Let us pray. Almighty God, move through us and inspire us to do your work today with the knowledge that we will never fully understand you, but that we can love you and serve you. 
And like Luke, that we can manifest your word into the world. We can be vessels of your light. We ask that you would bless the sick today, Lord Christ, and bless those who mourn, those who are dying. We ask that you would guide us today to do your work in this world, to make good decisions, to treat others with kindness, to forgive. We ask that you would give this world your peace. We ask that you would give us a reverence for this beautiful planet. Inspire us as you inspired St. Luke. We may never understand you, but we may manifest your love into this world. We may bring your word into this world. Help us to do that today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.